Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about URL scan, a detection you could have received from your antivirus software. The detection obviously refers to a scam site, but does not explain anything about it. Also, it can be a false positive detection. In this video, I will show what does a URL scan detection mean, whether it can be a false positive and how to stop it from appearing. So, starting with the basics, URL scam detection originates from antivirus engines used in Avast and AVG programs. Its meaning is rather self-explanatory. As I said, it points at a scam website. Getting on such a page happens to anyone, and this is not necessarily a sign of malware activity. However, this detection is generic, with no explanation behind it. And it's a shame, because there are quite a few types of scam websites, and their description may help you to find the culprit. I will do exactly that right now. One of the most widespread scam websites is a fraudulent shopping site. It appears as a genuine online shopping website and lures unsuspecting people with mind-boggling discounts. 70, 80, 90 or even 99 percent. As you may guess, none of the orders from such websites are about to be delivered. Frauds that stand behind all this usually promote their sites on Facebook, TikTok or in messengers and clicking on a link in such a promotion can easily call for the URL scam detection to appear. Another popular kind of scam websites plague cryptocurrency enthusiasts, mimicking crypto trading platforms, official pages of some of the hyping crypto projects, and so on. Such sites wait for the user to add their personal information, link a hot wallet, or top up the account, and then steal their money and data. This may happen in multiple ways, I will not describe them in this video, but near sides of the theme keep appearing, so these scams are likely successful. Same as shopping scam websites, these ones are promoted on social media or in messengers. Third kind of the websites that can call for the URL scam to appear mimics a job offering site that offers earning money for answering the quizzes, watching promotions, solving captchas, and similar things. The target of the scams is more about personal data than money, Though certain fraudulent schemes convince the user to spend money on quote unquote premium subscription to the thing. The majority of job scams are met on Facebook and in WhatsApp communities. You can identify such websites by yourself simply by looking at their URL. It usually mimics a well known website but has typos or prefixes appended before or after the name. Or the name may be just a random selection of letters, like if a cat had a walk on the keyboard. Alternatively, website naming may have no meaning at all. I personally suspect that such names are generated by artificial intelligence. Additionally, most of these websites are hosted on the cheapest top-level domains – top, xyz, site, weep, store, shop, and so on. This description covers the majority but not all the potential sources of URL scam. If you have your own observation on the subject, feel free to share them in the comment section. Now, with genuine scams out of the way, let's cover the cases when URL scam is a false positive detection. This happens to any antivirus or anti-malware software, but in this case, it is hard to suppose why it is happening. Once again, the detection is generic, and there is no specification available from the antivirus companies. What's interesting, though, is that this detection often goes false when the website is powered with Fandom Wiki engine. Possibly, it contains something the detection system is not happy about. If you encounter the problem when the legitimate site is blocked with the URL scam detection, then the best solution is to whitelist one in the antivirus settings. This will make the program ignore this website in the future. Alternatively, you can disable the web protection feature completely, but that may be risky. An action of a good citizen here is to report the issue on the forum of your antivirus, but be sure to check whether this problem was already reported or not, to avoid duplicating the ticket. It is also important to mention one specific case of URL scam appearance, when the notification about a blocked website pops up continuously, no matter what you are doing. Contrary to the singular pop-up that appears after opening a phishing site, this situation definitely means that something repeatedly attempts to open a blacklisted website. And this something is most likely malicious. Adverent browser hijackers are two malware types that aim specifically at throwing users to shady websites. To scan your system for malicious programs and remove them, I recommend using Greedinsoft anti-malware. This program has a multi-component detection system that will stop and remove any questionable programs or malware. 
Run a full scan to check the entirety of the system. This will take 10 to 15 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Out to remove the detected threats. Removal process supposes deleting all the malware related files, so when there are a lot of detections, this process may take some time as well. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.